Welcome back to the Obsessive Gardener. If you've watched my channel for an extended period of time, you may recognize this greenhouse. Um, I'm trying something a little bit different this year to try to keep the warm air in. Um, I live in zone 7B, I think, or 7A, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm gonna try to use this bubble wrap and line the inside of this. And then I'm gonna bring a heater out here and I'm gonna try to heat this thing up at night and uh, see if I can move some plants into here. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so I got a small section of it done. Bubble wrap down to there. Still got a long ways to go though. Um, I ran out of tape. But I got most of the top part, especially on this side. And then I got another sheet cut for this side to go down in that section. Um, it's kind of a tedious job here. And I got a lot more to go to cover everything. And I don't know if I have enough bubble wrap, but I'm gonna go from the top down. Okay, so I bubble wrapped a good chunk of this. I bubble wrapped from the top down to about right here on both sides. And then I bubble wrapped the end and put like some cardboard that I had from a TV. It was a nice thick, it's a nice thick piece of cardboard. Um, it's made to protect the TV screen. And I kind of <laughs> did a kind of real botchy job with some painter's tape with some bubble wrap around that. I got a blanket down here at the bottom. I don't know if that's going to help at all. Uh, and there's a rug underneath that. And uh, when I zip this thing up, I'm going to put a heater in here and then I'm going to zip this thing up and I'm going to put like some on the outside. I'm going to put like a moving blanket along the bottom. I'm going to just try to trap as much warm air in here as possible. It's still reaching uh, below 32 degrees at night here in Lassen County. We're at about um, 5,100 feet where I live. And so, you know, it gets cold at night still. So it won't be, we won't be out of danger of frost until around June 1st or so after Memorial Day. So I'm trying to make this thing as, you know, as warm as possible for the next two months. So I'm going to start um, putting the racks in. They go on the little shelves that go in here and putting some plants in that I'm growing in my closet. So we'll see how that goes. First, I'm gonna pull a heater in here, zip it up. Uh, I'm gonna put a thermometer in here, a Bluetooth thermometer so I can read how warm um, and how cold it got at night in here. So I'll test it out tonight and we'll see how that goes. So I put this mat right here over the top and that moving blanket folded in half. It didn't fit all the way across so I used this which has like kind of like this rubber stuff on the other side. So it's really good for insulation. But the reason why I did that is because I noticed the top of this thing, it's hard to see now because the light's blocked. So these, the bubble wrap first off doesn't meet right in the middle. There's, it would have been really hard to tape that. Plus up here in the middle, you can't see it because the light's blocked, but it's worn from the plastic on the other side of this bar going all the way down. Um, there's just little, little tiny little holes kind of scattered throughout. So I thought, okay, the air could still escape through there. So let's put something over the top. And so I did that, um, the moving blanket and a rubber mat. Um, I also got the heater uh, hooked into a, an extension cord that runs over by the house. Uh, and I just got this little black and decker heater. I can already feel it getting warm in here. So 
That is a very good sign. I just plugged it in and it feels hot in here. Not hot, hot, but I mean, it feels warmer already. So I'm gonna go get the thermometer and we can, I could test it out if it is actually is warmer in here yet, but I will be checking throughout the night. The thermometer I'm using has Bluetooth capabilities. So I'm able to check on my phone um, and even check how cold it got in here at night. So we can see um, if I need to do more insulating or abandon completely, which I'm not willing to abandon completely. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an obsessive gardener, so I will not give up easy. Um, so, yeah, so that's it so far. All right, so we're outside and this temperature gauge is reading 46.7 and it's still slowly dropping. I just checked the temperature in town which is about a thousand feet down from us and about six or seven miles away and it's 51 degrees there but it's a little cooler here so 46.6 I'm gonna move this inside this greenhouse and I have not shut I haven't sh zipped it yet so I'm just curious how warm and it's definitely Definitely notice it'll be warmer in here. As soon as you walk in, this thing's already jumping. 47 degrees. And climbing. I'm gonna set it. So the heater is blowing that direction. I'm gonna kinda set it behind it over here on this bucket. Kind of near the door. Still climbing. Look, it's almost up to 48 degrees. There it is, 48. And <laughs> the humidity is dropping just as fast or even faster. Inside my house it was 19% humidity. I'm going to pull this away from the heater a little bit so I don't want to get a bad reading. I don't want to be too close. So there we go. So it's steadily climbing. I'll check back here in a second. I'll actually use my phone and Bluetooth it. I'll give it like an hour and see what happens. All right, there it is, it's zipped up, moving blanket up against the bottom, and I got some logs of wood just kind of pressing it up against there to kind of try to hold any heat that might escape through the bottom of the door right there. We'll check in about 15 minutes to see how warm it's gotten inside the greenhouse. All right, probably can't see anything. I think it's been about an hour. I'm gonna check the temperature really quick with my Govi app. All right, let's check the temperature. Oops. Oh, it's loading. So it's 842. Okay, so the refresh is complete. It says it's 59.4 degrees. inside now I wonder if that's as hot as it's gonna get I'm not sure well it's, it shows that it's climbing right now well it climbed up a tenth of a degree 59.5 if it didn't get any lower than that at night then that'd be great even if it got down at 55 for a second it wouldn't be terrible um, the plants that I'm going to put out here, you know, I think they're mature enough they can handle about 55 at night. At least, I'd say. They might be able to handle about 50. I don't know. Um, I don't want to go too low because it could really mess up their growth. It could stunt them. So anyways, so, so far it's working. Outside it's probably about 15 degrees cooler. So, we'll check again tomorrow and see how cold it got in here last night that's a lot colder than it was supposed to get okay so it's 27 degrees outside and it's 47.5 degrees inside the greenhouse and that is too low so you need to insulate the whole thing all right all right last night I ran the heater 
and it got down to about 47 and 47.5 degrees Fahrenheit Fahrenheit which isn't too bad because it got down to 25 degrees last night so it got over 20 degrees warmer in here but still not quite warm enough so see all this uninsulated areas here the whole front and this whole section right here is not was not insulated so I went to Walmart tried to find more bubble wrap I really couldn't they didn't have much anyways so I got a bunch of this foam cushion which I figured this should probably do the job um, just do the walls with it uh, and then if I don't have enough I do I did get a few of these smaller bubble wraps um, these were 97 cents a piece and they're like six foot, six foot little strips. And uh, this is the smaller bubbles, which aren't as good as the big bubbles for insulation, but it's better than nothing. So I bought all the ones they had. They had five rolls for 97 cents a pop. Got those. Of course, I couldn't resist, but get a tomato. My favorite cherry tomato is a Husky Cherry Red. They are so good. Anyways, um, all right, so I'm going to get started and try to finish this thing off. Without the heater being on, it is 78.2 degrees. Pretty dry in here, 13% humidity. Um, it is a little cloudy outside. If the sun was direct, I'm sure it would be um, warmer. But 78, that's, that's really good. And that's with the door open and everything. Outside, I think it's like 60. So that's pretty warm. Um, I think the insulation has a lot to do with that. It's holding the heat in here. All right, so I got the foam on there. Got two strips down here, all the way to the bottom. So it's connected with the bubble wrap. And then on this side too. I almost had enough for two strips, but I ran out right there. <laughs> so I put um, a little bit of bubble wrap that I had left over right here. And on this side, all the way to the bottom. I'm going to use some of that six foot bubble wrap to fill in this gap right here. All right, I think that's as good as it's going to get for now. Got it filled in pretty much all the way except for just the door and the little section right by the side of the door. Everything else, bubble wrapped, foam, insulated, cardboard, something. I put this little um, rack in here. This little plastic is the packaging that the large bubble wrap came in. Over here by the door, it's 67 degrees. But back in here, it's probably in the 70s. I'm going to put the plants down there in the bottom. That plastic should block um, direct light. I know this foam padding is probably going to help break the light but I don't want to take any chances this is a tomato plant I just potted into this fabric pot so I'm using that to kind of hold the plastic down and that was outside at Walmart so it doesn't need to be hardened off um, so I'm gonna harden off uh, my pepper plants down in the bottom shelf there near the heater not with the heater blowing right on them but near the heater and um, you know in a week or so that hopefully they'll be ready for at least um, that plastic thing to be removed and this foam will block a lot of the light um, the, the greenhouse itself already blocks light and then this will block more light um, so maybe after a week I can take that this plastic out and then they'll be ready for that and then I can probably even put them on top and all that and then pretty soon they'll go on the racks Anyways, I'm going to put the plants out here now. Alright, it's 7.30 a.m. and it's 40 degrees outside. And 73.6 degrees Fahrenheit inside the greenhouse. So I would say that, my friends, is a success.